Hi there, welcome to today's Team Clueless Battle Report. Uh, we have set up the table, as you can see, there's a bit of a city bit one end, a couple of large buildings, a couple of ruins, and then we have a crashed Imperial Aquila Lander in the centre, which in the very centre of it you'll see an Eldar Relic, because today we are playing the Relic mission. We are using the Dawn of War setup, which is the two long table edges, like the old um, mission from the previous game, but they changed the names round. Uh, there is also a ruined kind of like evil temple at one end, and a couple of hills, and a couple of woods. Okay, so we're playing 1500 points today, and I've bought my Blood Angels. So, my Warlord is this Reclusiarch here, he has a jump pack, and that's about it. Um, there is also a Sanguinary Priest with a jump pack, and there is a 10 strong Assault Squad with a Power Fist and two Melter Guns. We've also got a tactical squad, they've got a flamer, a combi flamer, and a multi-melter, and they're mounted up in a rhino. We have five tactical terminators with a cyclone missile launcher. We've brought a whirlwind! Haven't tried one in, well, ever I don't think, but hey, it seems slightly better than neural, so I thought I'd bring one. We have two predators, each armed with twin las cannon sponsons and the auto cannon turret. And I've brought some Eldar allies, we have a Farseer, and five Pathfinders, which are upgraded to Rangers, or is that the other way around? Okay. Rangers upgraded to Pathfinders. The Farseer has the Doom Power, and he has Runes of Warding. And a Singing Spear. And a Singing Spear, singing spear not pictured. Um, I've brought some Eldar to the battle today. They're being led by the Avatar of Cain and a Farseer. The Farseer has Guide and Fortune and some spirit stones and some runes of warding, so we're going to have a runes of warding battle uh, where we both um, try uh, not to kill ourselves. Uh, for Eldar troops I have taken a 10 man strong squad of Dire Avengers led by an Exarch with Blade Storm and Twin Shuriken cat Catapults. I've got a unit of three jet bikes uh, with a Shuriken Cannon and I've got an Eldar Guardian squad with a Scatter Laser uh, for elites, I have just bought a fire dragons five man fire dragon fire dragon squad with an exarch with a fire pike and crack shot. Uh, no fast attack. And in, in the heavy support choice, we have a wraith lord with elder missile launcher and bright lance and a couple of flamers, and a unit of three war walkers with six scatter lasers between them. I've taken some Cadix Space Marine allies. This is my Death Watch <laughs> army. So we've got uh, Eldar with Space Marines versus Space Marines with Eldar. They're led by this Master of the Forge with a conversion beamer. And they are a 10 man tactical squad. The sergeant has a combi melter. And we also have a melter gun and a missile launcher uh, in this Rhino. And they've also got a Aegis defense line with a quad gun upgrade. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I won the turn, the roll to go first. I've deployed along this table edge. We've got a couple of predators. Uh, most of my stuff's in the centre with the terminators, the assault squads, and a combat squadded tactical squad inside their rhino. The whirlwind is at the back here, and my fast here and his ranger squad have deployed over here. Paul has deployed his Aegis defence line there with a couple of Eldar squads, the Dire Avengers and the Fire Dragons inside it, and his tactical squad is half deployed going up the building with the Master of the Forge, and he has fortified that building. There are war walkers hiding behind, we have an avatar in front, and the guardian squad is taking over the forest. We have a reef lord at the back, and the rhino at the back. Paul is going to see if he can steal the initiative. On a six. Really could be very nice indeed. No, not quite. No. Okay, Blood Angel turn one. Firstly, we opened up with the two predators on the rhino at the back. Because this is a mission that only has one kind of objective, getting the secondary objective seems quite important, so I wanted first blood. So I managed to wreck the rhino with a second predator, which is quite good. Um, I fired the old um, whirlwind here, took out a few guardians there, which was quite nice, and then I fired whatever was in range from these two tactical squads at the guardians as well, killing quite a few of them. There's only one guy left in the gun, but unfortunately I couldn't quite get to him. The Terminators over here got a prestigious amount of wounds on the Fire Dragons who were forced to go to ground else they'd lose their whole squad. Um, so they're sitting down there, they still lost two of their number. The Eldar allies obviously found it quite hard to shoot upon their brethren as they all failed to wound their God of War. It was a bit of a pity. 
Other than that, the assault squad ran forwards and one of them has managed to capture the relic. The rest of the squad then ran forwards to lap around so he wasn't the closest model to the enemy and then the rhino in the shooting phase um, did a flat out move to put himself in the way of the squad and the god of war in case he comes over to try and beat them up. Not a bad turn, pretty good. End of Eldar turn one. Uh, the Avatar raced forward to try and stop this Eldar artifact falling into Blood Angel hands, whilst the rest of my, uh, my army pretty much hung back in their uh, defensive formation. In the shooting phase, um, the Space Marines tried some long range shooting at this uh, Predator. They managed to take off two hull points, so it's got one remaining. And the rest of my army um, pretty much attempted to uh, turn the battle over here in the Avatar's favour. Um, the Wraith Lord here shot at the Rhino, taking that out of the way. It had a very big explosion which managed to take out two Space Marines. And then everything else uh, fired into the Assault Squad. So we had scat lasers and shuriken catapults. We've got some bolters around here. We've got the, scat the shuriken catapults from the Dire Avengers and the scat lasers from the war walkers managed to whittle down the numbers to what you see here. The avatar then charged in and challenged the reclusiarch to single combat. After a, a titanic battle, the reclusiarch is one wound down and the avatar is unwounded. Okay, Blood Angel turn two. So we started off by firing both of my predators at the war walkers over there. Managed to get a smattering of hits and took out two of the war walkers. Pretty good. The Far the Farseer and his Pathfinders fired at the Wraith Lord. Free hits, free hits and wounds and rendings and such, Wraith Lord went down. They've taken out a creation of their own race. Um, the Power Armor dudes over here shot at the Guardian squad, managed to whittle them down, and the Sergeant, with his sharp shooting bolter gun, rolled a six to hit and picked out the last remaining heavy weapons squad crew member and managed to kill him. Excellent shooting. The Whirlwind managed to fire over here at quite a few Dire Avengers and along with one of the exploding War Walkers took out a fair few of their number. Oh, I need to make a leadership check. Oh yes, he needs to make a leadership check. Let us see. Uh, leadership 10 because of the first Leadership hit. 10. Yes. We have that and that, but the Guardians also need to make one. Oh, Ooh, did, we're did very you... forgetful. Yeah, yeah, you did kill enough. So uh, they've only got leadership 8. They're also good. They're also okay. Okay, sorry about a slight impasse there. Um, the rest of the stuff, obviously the Avatar was engaged with my Assault Squad who had the Relic, which was a bit of a worry. So my Terminators charged in and managed to power fist him to death, which was quite good. He killed a couple of Terminators, but he failed all of his saves, which is a little unlucky on his half. And that was my turn two. Eldar turn two. Uh... The Eldar are being forced to hold their position, really. They can't really move forward against these uh, dangerous Blood Angel assaulters. So they're staying in their defensive positions and raining fire down. We really wanted to try and take out the assault squad before they um, made off with the artifact. And so we pretty much fired everything um, into the uh, assault squad. And uh, unfortunately, all we'd managed to do was kill a normal guy, a sergeant, and another wound on the reclusiarch. So they're going to make off next turn. We also put uh, melter shots from this part of the tactical squad and the fire dragons uh, into the terminator squad, but unfortunately we only managed to take out one of them, so not very good. Okay, Blood Angel turn three. I started off by dooming the fire dragons and then I shot them with my tactical squad and a couple of members of the second tactical squad. I only managed to kill a num one of their number, which wasn't particularly good, but they failed their leadership test, so off they're running. Probably to rally next turn, but they're probably out the fight for good now. Over here, the lone assault marine with the relic uh, ran backwards six inches and then this half of the tactical squad uh, went over and took the relic from him. The reclusiarch and the uh, Sanguinary Priest joined the new squad, so I've got a nice seven strong troop squad there that now have the relic. Uh, over here, uh, this guy shot at the quad gun, only dealing one wound. The other predator, immobilised though it is and with two hull points missing, still managed to take out the last of the war walkers. The whirlwind had its worst shot to date. I mean, it hit all right, it managed to hit a load of Space Marines and Guardians, only wounded the Guardians though, and they both passed their saves. This was a turn where he passed nearly every save he was required to make. Um, I charged the last two Terminators into his half a tactical squad. He did his stand there, overwatch me. He had 
eight bolter shots and one melter shot. You can guess which one hit. Uh, so he melted away my cyclone, but then my single terminator went in there, killed a couple of his space marines, and they used their special rule to auto run, meaning they'll auto rally next turn and shoot me in the face. But they've retreated a bit off the board, which was all I really wanted. So he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff that can threaten the relic at the moment. Seems to be going to plan. Okay, LR turn three. The uh, jet bikes came on and immediately screamed the entire length of the table with their new amazing amounts of turbo boosting, uh, positioning themselves behind the Predator and the, 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 the other Space Marine vehicles that are still in existence. The Dire Avengers are reloading, so they moved, moved, started to make a move forwards in an attempt to try and at least make some kind of uh, play for the objective. Over here, we were being harassed by a Terminator, so we fired Guardians and, st and Space Marines into the uh, Terminator, and then we charged him and lost both the Guardians. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so that was it. Oh, we, 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 from the, um, the other half of the Space Marine uh, uh, tactical squad, fired some shots in over here, but uh, we killed, I think, one, ta one, one tactical, tactical Marine. So that's the end of my turn three. Unfortunately, it's gone rather late, so I'm afraid I need to leave. So this is, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be able to make a play for that objective anyway, guarded by that recluse yark. Um, yeah, I think with, I've got enough with Dire Avengers, here, haven't I? With a couple of Dire Avengers and a couple of jet bikes, it's not going to it's not going to work out. So I think it's probably over. Yeah, the only active squad you've really got left was the um, space half Space Marine squad, wasn't it? Yeah, they they were actually probably the squad I was most impressed with this game. Um, I quite like the conversion beam. I know it's not. I felt your right um, your defence line was really good. Yeah, they're good. So you stayed back line, and yeah. shot, and I, I basically I did my gamble turn one, get the objective, survive, and then yeah. I've got it. Whereas you went for the shoot yeah. that you hoped to stop me. And I got you down to one squad member. Yeah. that's actually a yeah. There's only one so, more dead yeah. needed. And then and then the the new dev needs to move forward into this space to pick it up again. I liked the mission, and I didn't like. It. I like the fact that it focused you all in one point, which none of the other missions really do. But it also once I'd got it and had managed to move backwards a step. I felt quite confident that I was going to win it because you had to yeah. move forwards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I had the, the jet bikes, which would have been able to make yeah. a play for it, but it was I needed to do more more damage to the <laughs> um, the Space Marines, and obviously the Feel No Pain makes that the very good. Feel difficult. No Pain, even though it's only four plus now, was still really good. I made quite a few of them, and in key situations mm. as well. Yeah. I quite like my elder allies. He really did put the lockdown on your poor farce here. Yes. I, I did. I cast any? I think you didn't I didn't cast a single no. one all game. I think I tried five. Yeah, I had for three yeah. turns. I tried five. Perils of the Warped once and then had to stop because I was on one wound. Um, I mean, mine didn't do a so, whole lot other than that. But no, he cast, no, he did manage to cast Guide once, I think. He did. Yeah. Uh, he, didn't have, he cast Doom once Sorry, on Doom, the yeah. Avatar. Yeah. Um, I clearly did something wrong because I rolled like an absolute demon this game and, and I've lost quite severely. So I think it was just the fact that my initial push worked. <clears throat> yeah. Because you were rolling really well, but I didn't roll bad for my saves. I mean... You unloaded your entire army into my 12 tactical, my 12 mm. assault marines, and they didn't die. And I've chosen quite a volume of fire army with the yeah. Dire Avengers and the Guardians and the Tactical Squad all being able to do quite I a lot quite of shots. Like predators, I felt they were more or less immune to your army, to be honest. Yeah, normally, uh, or not necessarily normally, in the old days, then of course I'd have had a mobile fire dragon squad and a wave serpent, which yeah. would have been able to go out and threaten those kind of things. So even if wave serpents aren't as survival as they used to be, maybe they're necessary in order to take out things yeah, like that. Yeah, I felt that you couldn't reach out and kill certain things. No. Well, the, I mean, the conversion beam had a good old go at that one yes. over there. Yeah, you rolled badly for your um, penetration roll there, your AP1. Yeah, so what was that, 2 went to a 4? Yeah. No, a 3 went to a 5, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's immobilised. <clears throat> yeah. But good game overall. I enjoyed the mission. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the game. Um, I just think I need to work out what there's something wrong with the army or how, where I was playing. I need to need to work out what that is. So. Mm. I just think you should have maybe pushed forward earlier. Yeah. But then if I, once I'm not behind the Aegis defence line, I've got my yeah, toughness then you've got three. The, uh, the whirlwind was good. Yeah, I'll be yeah. taking him again. The whirlwind was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, and I couldn't again. I didn't have the ranged um, shots. The Wraith, the Wraith Lord might have been able to ha um, yeah. threaten that, but um, was I only I absolutely needed to get rid of that Rhino on turn one to make sure the Avatar could charge, mm. and then after that, he was dead to those scale the, to the Rangers, the Pathfinders over there. No, good game. Yep. And uh, see you next time.